Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for June 25th. Before I read to you today from 1 John 3, verses 10 through 12 in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible, I want to encourage you to like today's video and to share it. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. That will be helpful going forward. And with that said, let's hear from the Word. By this it may be seen who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not do right is not of God, nor he who does not love his brother. For this is the message which you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, and not be like Cain, who was of the evil one, and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil, and his brother's righteous. This is the word of God. Luther writes about verses 11 and 12, What offense had godly Abel committed against his brother to be so hated? He had regarded that brother as the firstborn, had done him all honor and loved him as a brother. He was easily satisfied, desiring simply the grace of God. He prayed for the future seed, for the salvation and happiness of his parents, his brother, and the entire human race. How could Cain be so unmerciful and inhuman to murder his own flesh and blood? The answer is found in the fact that the devil had filled Cain's heart with pride and vanity over his birthright. He considered himself a man of distinction, whilst his brother was nothing. His heart is devoid of true brotherly love. He cannot endure God's manifest favor toward his brother and will not be moved by the injunction to humble himself and seek God's grace. Anger and envy possess him so that he cannot tolerate his brother alive. He becomes a murderer and then goes his way as if he had done right. This is what John means when he says that Cain had no other cause for his crime than that his works were evil and his brothers righteous. Similarly, that obedient daughter of St. Cain, the world, hates the Christians, and for no other reason than the latter's love and goodness of heart. In this man Cain is pictured the world in its true characteristic colors. In him its true spirit stands reflected. On the other hand, that poor, abject Abel well represents the obscure little brotherhood, the Church of Christ. She must yield to Cain the Lord the distinction of being everything before God. He feels important in his imagined dignity and thinks that God cannot but favor and accept his offering rather than that of his brother. Meanwhile, pious Abel goes his way, meekly suffering his brother's contempt. He yields him the honor and beholds no consolation for himself, aside from the pure mercy and goodness of God. He believes in God, and in such faith he performs his sacrifice as a confession of his gratitude. Well, it's easy to read this and only think of Cain and Abel, uh, perhaps their parents, but uh, we ought to think in terms of ourselves. Uh, we can be very much like Cain. Uh, we can think that we are righter and better than our brothers in the church. Uh, we can um, insist on our way over their way. Uh, we can treat them rudely and roughly. And I see this happen quite often, in fact. Um, especially uh, when it comes time for confession, whether people realize they're in the confessional or not, during uh, home visitation and when people come into uh, my office, um, and they think they're alone, and they can dredge up the past and talk trash on people and be mean to their brothers. Sometimes, years and years later, they forget that God is present or don't care. Uh, we need to be very careful ourselves because sometimes we can think that we bear the dignity of that elder brother, the one who's right, um, but perhaps not righteous. Uh, the righteous brother will always love his brother, even in his wrong, he'll love him. Um, it's difficult to do, I suppose, especially sometimes, some sins, but we are called to love our neighbor. Um, be careful that you are, as Luther put it, abject, uh, like Abel. Be, be certain that you are humble, as the church is called to be, uh, so that we are in a position to 
um, to know God's favor for us and to know how much our brother needs our love. Let's pray. Thank you for your word, Lord. Uh, it cuts us deeply uh, today, and it's good that it does so. Help us to be humble. Help us to live by faith and to offer our very lives as a confession of our gratitude to you. For Christ's sake, amen. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you join me again tomorrow. Don't forget to share the video and like it and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. I hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow. Thank you.